Hey everyone, Assalamu alaikum, peace be upon you, and welcome back to my channel. Last week, I took a vote on my Patreon to see what video I should make next, and my patrons chose to see my current espresso routine in real time. So here it is. And if you need some one-on-one -on -one help with dialing in your espresso, or if you want to support my channel and work, join my Patreon coffee club. I'll put the link in the description. Okay, so after choosing a mug and turning on my machine, I place the mug on the drip tray and run one or two dummy shots into it while getting the milk for my latte. Running a dummy shot does a few things. It preheats your mug while heating up the group head and portafilter, which the Barista Pro doesn't do very well on its own, and the dummy shot also helps to clear out the group head of any coffee particles. After measuring out my dose in the dosing cup, I pour the beans into the hopper and grind directly into the dosing cup with the grind time set to 20 seconds. This hands-free grinding gives me time to seal and put away my coffee beans. Keeping the beans sealed from oxygen and light keeps them fresh for longer. The 20 second grind time also leaves a couple seconds for me to bang on the top of the hopper to get all the grinds out. I do this because the Breville grinders are known to have high retention. They retain or miss some beans when grinding. For this reason, I also always measure the dose after it's ground. So be sure to keep your scale on and untouched after measuring the whole beans. Then I take the portafilter out and dry it off using a dry towel that I only use for cleaning the drip tray and portafilter. Your portafilter should be warm and dry before transferring the grinds. I like to shake the dosing cup with the portafilter so the clumps of coffee can break up a little bit. Tap firmly on the counter. I set the dosing funnel on top and use my WDT tool to break up clumps and evenly fluff up the grounds. With the needles almost reaching the bottom of the portafilter, I start drawing small circles while moving in a larger circle. I take my time on this step to make sure I've properly fluffed each section. The first round fluffs the bottom layer of grounds, and then on the second round, I lift the tool a little so that I properly fluff up the upper layer of grounds. Holding the dosing funnel in place, I tap the portafilter to make the ground settle down a little, just so they're not too high when I take the funnel off. If you tend to dose smaller amounts, you might not have this issue at all. Lately, I'm enjoying using a distributor first, but sometimes I'll go in straight with the tamp. I'm using the palm tamper here because my nails are too long to use a traditional tamp. I quickly pour out the hot water for my mug and set the mug on top of my steam wand towel so the towel gets wet and the mug can dry off a little. Do a quick dummy shot to reheat the group head. Portafilter goes in. Dry off the drip tray. Place the scale and mug on the drip tray. And start a manual shot. Seven seconds of pre-infusion. 
and let go. This is when I just watch the scale. For this bean, I'm aiming for around 30 grams of espresso, so I'll stop the shot when the scale hits around 27. Now I quickly set the cup and scale to the side and turn on the steam wand. Sometimes I put my designated steam wand towel under the spout to get the towel wet for when I need to clean off the wand. Quickly turn the wand off, position my pitcher, and turn it back on. Once I'm in what I call phase two of my milk steaming, I use my spare hand to swirl the espresso in my mug. This prevents the crema from settling and separating all funky, and it helps get a uniform base when pouring latte art. <sighs> Cleaning off the wand right away, and purging the steam wand to make sure any milk remnants are blasted out. And for the latte art, I'm going for a rosetta today. When I'm done pouring, I take out the portafilter and throw out the puck. I usually dump it straight into the trash can because I don't have a knock box, but I did it in a plate today just to show you my puck. My pucks almost always come out clean with little effort. Then I run a dummy shot and let the hot water clean off the portafilter. Always purge out your group head and clean your portafilter after and between shots. And that's pretty much it. I just wipe down my station once and enjoy my coffee. Let me know in the comments below if you learned something new or useful. And remember to check out my Patreon to join my coffee club where you can ask questions and discuss coffee without any pressure or fear of judgment. Thank you all for watching and supporting my channel. I hope you're doing well and I'll talk to you in the next one.